Hi everybody, Alison here from Reva Consultant and we are already on day nine of this self-love gifting practice. Remember that all of these gifts, all of these ideas, all of these practices are things that we can do for ourselves over the holidays. You know, the holidays are always so much about how much we are doing for other people, what we are giving, the gifts that we give away to other people. So why not prioritize yourself just for five or 10 minutes today? Today's gift number nine happens to be one of my top four letter words. And yes, I've got a lot of favorites with these 12 day uh, practices, but this one really is inspirational. And the reason why I love this particular gift is because it allows us to take some of the previous gifts and practices that I've already shared with you and stack them on top of each other. So it really allows you to benefit from the collective uh, value that some of these habits and practices will bring. Today's gift is the gift of hope. To have hope is to have an optimistic mindset. To have hope is to trust in positive outcomes. Most important to have hope is to believe in tomorrow and to believe in tomorrow in such a way that you can look forward to it, that you anticipate good things. Around about this time last year, I read a definition of hope that said to have hope is to cherish and anticipate tomorrow. Isn't that such a beautiful way of describing hope? to cherish tomorrow. Hope allows us to look forward to what's going to happen next. It allows us to imagine ourselves into our vision and into our future in an optimistic way. And because we can do this, because we can look into the future in this optimistic way, it allows us to plan for a better tomorrow. Hope is magical in so many ways because to have hope in this way, it allows us to face our future with the knowledge that we can overcome our challenges and our hardships because with hope, we believe and we trust that we can do something about those challenges or hardships that we might face. There are two things about hope that's really important to know. The first one is hope, hope is not passive. Hope is not sitting back and hoping for the best. Hope is really about taking those important steps. It's about setting time to set your goals. It's about being disciplined to focus on your goals. Hope allows us, when we are um, demonstrating hope in this manner, in this productive manner, hope allows us to keep moving forward. That's really important. It might even sound to you like hope is starting to sound a little bit like resilience. It possibly is. Two sides of the same coin. When we have hope, we can build resilience. When we are resilient, it allows us to demonstrate hope. Really, really great competencies to build and boost, even in our personal life. And when we are resilient, we take each day as it comes. We are quite realistic about where we are. We are realistic about our challenges and our hardships. We see that future in an optimistic way. And resilience, importantly, is about keeping moving forward. It's about taking those next steps. When we are resilient, it allows us to lead a fuller life. And I don't mean this in a, from any perspective. Those of you who know me, you know that it's not meant in a, in a manner in which we are judging where we've come from. But we can lead that fuller life because with resilience, each time we overcome a hardship and challenge, we learn, we grow, we adapt, we build our perspective. So we lead a fuller life from that perspective. 
So in, in a sense, hope in itself allows us to look forward to that fuller life. The second part about hope that's really important to notice and remember, hope is not a Pollyanna, sickly sweet positivity. Hope is very much grounded, realistic. It comes from that authentic self. So with hope, it really is about um, gaining and building our awareness. It's about being able to um, gain and grow an authentic understanding of our competencies, of our skills, and build that wonderful perspective of other people and the world around us. When we're being realistic, we are setting ourselves those goals that will allow us to keep moving forward. And this is the important aspect of hope that I, that for me is the gift in today's lesson, is that opportunity to keep moving forward. And there's three ways that we can easily build hope, adopt the habits of hope. And I'm going to share these three with you here today. The first one really is about the essence of these holidays because the first one says and invites you to seek inspiration and awe. Think back to day one where I shared your first gift, which was magic. Remember back, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, remember back to your childhood, to the night before Christmas. How excited were you? Uh, to go to sleep so that you could wake up the next morning and it would be Christmas Day. But also at the same time, you didn't want to go to sleep because you didn't want to That is the um, anticipation and awe of this time of year. So seek out those magic moments where we can connect with that inner child, that inner child that looked forward to the future, looked forward to tomorrow with a sense of excitement and hope. But when we seek out inspiration, especially when that inspiration is intrinsic and from within, we start to build meaning. We start to build meaningful moments. So hope is about these meaningful moments in our day where we can look forward to with an element of anticipation or excitement the days yet to come. The second way we can build hope is to work on our goals. So if you've already set yourself some goals for 2022, that's amazing. If you haven't yet, maybe you'd like to just grab a pen. Those of you who know me, you know that this is my favorite uh, tool in my kit box, my pen. Grab a pen and just think about some of your goals for 2022. Hope invites us to get crystal clear on what our goals are. What do you need to do? How do you need to do it? Who's going to support you? What knowledge do you need to gain? Get really clear on your goals. Please don't overwhelm yourself with feeling like you need to set yourself a complete set of goals for 2022. When we are faced with uncertainty as we are in the world that we're in right now, like I say with my corporate clients, when we're dealing with a lot of uncertainty, scale it back. Have a vision for what you want to achieve. Have a strategy, an overall strategy. But please break your goals down into bite-sized chunks, to smaller pieces. So in fact, it's okay if you just want to set a few goals for today, this week, these holidays. Setting goals in bite-sized pieces means that we are going to achieve success more frequently. And we know that the brain not only loves clarity, but the brain loves to complete things. And success stacking on top of success builds confidence, builds courage, builds that trust in ourselves that we can believe in a better tomorrow. That's number two. Number three, for how we can start to adopt the habit of hope, Speak to that reality, that sense of realism, which is just about acknowledging and appreciating where we are at and acknowledging and appreciating the setbacks and the challenges that we have overcome. 
because these setbacks and challenges as we overcome them so we build and boost our um, mindset around being able to do more and more challenging things into the future again inspiring and building that belief in self which is going to support that value of hope so what one thing are you hopeful for for tomorrow or for this week what one thing are you looking forward to with a sense of anticipation or you are able to look into look forward to tomorrow and cherish it what one thing please pop it into the comments and inspire us with your thoughts around hope and your thoughts around your belief in tomorrow see you again tomorrow at the same time hi joe we're just about finished but you can always watch and replay see you again tomorrow uh, at earlier time actually i'll be back at the normal time and i look forward to uh, chatting to you then